OK, so we've now successfully signed up for a WordPress account and we'll have a valid username and password. And on the home screen of WordPress.com, to the left hand side is this blue small box and we're able to put in the username and password for our account there. So I'm just going to type in my existing account details and you could click remember me so that it remembers your details and then simply click on login. Now you'll see that that screen has refreshed and we now have a few tools at the top of the page here. We've got some account tools, my dashboard which is the um, desktop dashboard for each of the blogs that you may have um, and also some entry points to actually post new uh, articles to any of your blogs. But you'll also, also notice that this blue window has now been updated and it lists any current blogs that we have and also gives us the option to register a new blog which we're going to do now as so that will be the process you'll go through. So that takes us through to a new window and here we need to give our new blog an, a domain um, and you can call it absolutely anything you want obviously normally something to do with uh, the, the blog's theme um, so here I'm simply going to type in WordPress training um, WordPress tutorial I'm giving it a different title just so we can differentiate between the domain and the blog title and I'll show you why we've done that later you'll then need to choose the language that it's primarily going to be blogged in and also tick whether you want any privacy and then once you've done that you can simply click on the button at the bottom which says create blog now that can take around 10 or 20 seconds sometimes but there we are we've got confirmation that that new blog domain has been registered and just underneath there is a little login link which I'm going to click on to log straight into that uh, new blog account. Just asking for our password again and then I'll click login to go straight through to the dashboard for that blog. So there we are we're on the home screen or dashboard as it's called and we know we're in the right place because at the top here we have a title which says WordPress tutorial so you can see there that that was slightly different to the domain name that we gave it which was WordPress training and to the right of that that's a live link but also to the right is a little link that says visit site and we're just going to go and have a look at that site right now so we can actually visualize how the blogs through WordPress appear so there we are there's the title of our blog WordPress tutorial um, it's relatively empty in content at the minute because obviously we've not actually made any entries but there is one entry there which says hello world and that's simply a default entry which is created by WordPress when you create a new blog so that's it we've created our new blog and on the next tutorial we'll be looking at how to use the dashboard to actually create our very first entry <laughs>